Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab, Pathology Talks, Tips, and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to address a very important tip that is encountered on almost daily uh, basis, which is how to report the P53 immunohistochemical stains when encountered in tumors. Now, to start with, remember that staining patterns of P53 in general are divided into what is known as the normal or wild type staining pattern. So wild type is equivalent to normal or the abnormal apparent or mutation type staining pattern and this is further can be expressed or can be seen in the form of overexpression complete absence or non or cytoplasmic pattern of staining now these three really comprise what is known as the abnormal or the apparent or the mutation type staining pattern now this is the normal staining pattern or the wild type or sometimes referred to as the mosaic staining pattern in which we see variability of the staining uh, in terms of the percentage of staining cells as well as the intensity of the staining so with P53 immunostic chemistry, of course, so we have some tumor cells which are negative, others which are positive, and then those that are positive show variable intensity, weak, intermediate, and more intense or more strong staining. This is what is known as the mosaic or wild type staining pattern, and this is equivalent to in most instances to normal staining pattern. Now remember this normal or mosaic or wild type staining pattern can have like two degrees. One that is called wild type, but with overexpression, with more uh, increased number of tumor cells that are positive, and one that is called the low expression pattern of uh, a normal or wild type staining pattern. Now, this contrast, you can have perhaps this is the single most important trick where people get confused with the um, overexpression. So with overexpression, we need to see strong in nuclear staining in at least 80, 80% of the tumor cells up to 100% of the tumor cells. And this is exactly what we look for. Now look at the background here. Some of the glands show the Y type staining pattern, which means that these are non-immutant. This is the one, the overexpression that is equivalent to mutation. And this is the most common pattern that is in Encountered with p53 mutation. Now, the second pattern that was relatively recently described is the null pattern or a negative pattern in which we see complete absence of staining in the nuclei of the tumor or of the lesion in the presence of positive internal control, some uh, lymphocytes, fibroblasts, sometimes endothelial cells. Now, this is the second most common pattern of abnormal P53 staining termed null pattern. And this is also associated with a different type of a mutation, yes, th yet this is considered to be mutant. Now, the least common pattern, abnormal pattern, is cytoplasmic, in which you see uh, cytoplasmic staining associated with faint nuclear staining. So this is the least common pattern. And again, in the background, we have some of the glands showing mosaic or the wild type or the normal staining pattern, while this gland in particular shows abnormal or apparent or a mutant P53 associated with cytoplasmic staining. So to sum up, this is the normal normal wild type staining pattern and the three over expression null or cytoplasmic staining patterns are the patterns associated with abnormal expression of P53, which is most often associated with mutation. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.